at Quadrangle, private equity firm, and also as an advisor to Mayor Bloomberg on his own fortune, you are making or have made a couple of decades worth of investment decisions. What, do you, what have you learned are the three most important things about investing? Management is of critical importance, and I gave you my examples, but there, there are certainly many more. Um, the second is the industry dynamics. Uh, it's, not, it's not necessarily a bad thing to invest in a declining industry or an industry that's not growing, as long as you pay a low enough price, but I do think it's hard. Uh, uh, I do think it's hard. You have to really... Uh, it's very tough to, to invest in a, in a business that's basically uh, on its way down. And, so, and then the third thing is essentially, therefore, is, is strong businesses with strong franchises uh, and where, where you know, they have an enduring product that is not going to get disintermediated or otherwise dislocated. And two of those, I think, involve real expertise about the industry and meeting management and really understanding them. Any advice for individual investors? Do you feel like this is a game that should be played at home or should individuals just buy index funds? I think the idea that individuals play this game at home is insane. Uh, would you take out your own appendix? Would you write your own will? Uh, would you fix your own car? Uh, and yet uh, there are shows after shows after shows devoted to telling people how to invest their own money. And it is the most absurd thing I have ever seen. Of course they shouldn't. Uh, whether they invest in an index fund or pick a good mutual fund or give it, if they have enough money, to a good money manager. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. Why do you think that fiction continues to roll? I think it's a little bit like why do people still invest in movies? Why do people invest in racehorses where you know the averages show you're going to have a loss? Because everybody thinks they can do a little bit better. And the same is true of investing. Uh, people, uh, why exactly, I don't know, but people who have no business thinking it think that they can do better than the market, or else they should buy uh, ETFs or something like that. It's, I can't think, I almost really, I can't think of a parallel to it in any other part of one's life where one is willing to do things themselves that they should so obviously leave to professionals.